It's raining and it's loud. Oh, beavers! Can you hear that, beavers? <laughs> We're getting it flowing in the rain. Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Wow, wow, wow. Do you know where we are? <laughs> Once again, as I've stated in the last Beaver Dam Tear Out video, it's been a while, man. It has been a while. Of course, if you've been keeping up, you know that I did stop here during Hurricane Debbie. We are at the Beaver Chair Dam area. And as I look over the bridge here, I can tell the beavers have rebuilt because Hurricane Debbie definitely washed out the beaver dam over here. The water was draining, you guys, but it has started coming back up. You guys, it's been <laughs> six months, six months since we've been over here, man. <laughs> Half a year, you guys. Wow. And guess what? Look in the water there. It's raining. So I'm not going to promise that we're going to get much work done. The other thing is I really need the brush cutter. I don't even have my machete. I know stuff is growed up. I really just want to look at how things are. But y'all know I probably will chat a little bit. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get far in the woods being that stuff is growed up, you know what I'm saying? So, ah, we're gonna see how things are looking. My goodness, my goodness. Yeah, I really do need that brush cutter. Our walk-in log here is, is rotting and even the more, it's about to break, it's about to break. It's about to break. Yep, oh, there it is. <laughs> That's the end of it. Oh my goodness, I'm tripping all over the place now. What a struggle. I should have just brought a potato rake. I thought I actually had left a shovel back here. I don't remember, but I wanted to bring this one anyway because I got two in my truck. I know I brought one, not, I ain't gonna say not too long ago. I brought one when we were active. Oh wow, the rain is, ooh, y'all hear that? Ooh. Oh man, you guys. Oh man. Maybe it'll stop. We at least gotta look at the dam as we start this new season. <laughs> this is season two. We at least gotta look at it, you guys. Gotta be careful. Yes, there are still snakes out to rail. Now, normally when we walk in here, y'all know we can see things. Like, y'all know that the dam starts right here. See? There's a big banana spider right there. Wow. Yeah, man, this is a little bit wicked. You can see there's some fresh rebuild. Check out the stick there. And of course, y'all know they got it built up around here like this because it it's dammed up good at the main channel wow this is crazy and let's not forget to real we have alligators oh boy oh boy <laughs> and y'all do remember that we normally have to go all the way around to get the water flowing from over here which I can definitely see wow I, oh, I think they got it built up higher than normal right over here. Let me let me go take a peep at this right quick. I'm gonna leave that shovel right there because this that's not good on my elbow. I think they, they got it. Wow. Look, 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 look though. Look how the water had washed all over here during Hurricane Debbie. All this stuff is laying down. But uh wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 yeah. We might have to go ahead on across, you guys, because 
I, they, yeah, they got it built stout right there at the roots. They got it built taller than they had it last time. I know y'all can't see that. Oh my goodness. And we definitely would need to get this moving some. Oh man, there's so much. There's, I don't know where to start. Let's go and look at the main dam right quick though. Let's go look at the main dam. Because I know that I am gonna have to tear out at least, at least go that far to that one back there. And y'all know that we supposed to have been burning. Oh, spider. Supposed to have been burning this pile here. Oh, there's a banana spider somewhere. I see yellow web. Oh, my pickaxe. My pickaxe is still here. That's what it is. Uh, it's still there. I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't treat it like that, right? Here we are. The beaver chair dam. And guess what? Now they got a takeout plate here. <laughs> they got a takeout plate, you guys. Oh my goodness. There's our debris pal. It's still looking pretty stout there. And y'all, I think I told you guys that I had brought some fire logs. I'm definitely, when it dries out some, I'm gonna try those fire logs. See how that will help get us uh, a fire started. Since y'all know we always be struggling. And I'm telling you, they always use long trees here. And that's because of all Gator Creek. Um, what else come through here? Uh, yeah, Gator Creek. All the Gator Creek water comes through here. So there's a lot of water that's coming through here. So I guess they figured they got to build that thing up real stout. But uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's no reason to do anything here right now. Not until we get some of the water downstream. Oh, look at the rain picking up. Ooh, wow. Not until we get some of the stuff downstream. And the last time we were here, when we conquered it, the last time we were here, y'all remember we found a new dam that's right, it was right up there. That definitely had helped us out. Oh man, it's raining good, you guys. I'm gonna have to wait and see what it does before I make a decision. I've been standing here for about five minutes and it's still raining, you guys. So, I am at least gonna go to that dam that I saw earlier and pull some out with you guys on the headband. Um, I won't set up, I don't think. It depends, it all depends. I think I'm gonna leave this shovel right here though. Um, I think, oh boy. I'm gonna take it with me, I'll take it with me just in case we might need it. Those are the trees right there that we pulled out last time. For those of you who are new, the beavers around here, they don't, uh, they don't like to reuse too much, which is why we get massive debris piles like that right there and have to burn it. They may use, reuse sometime, but in most cases we've discovered from watching the trail cameras that, uh, they don't, they don't reuse. And from how big our debris piles get, they don't reuse. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and cross here. Oh, this is, this is gonna be, oh my. This is gonna be nice. This is gonna be real nice. Oh, this is gonna be nice, you guys. Oh Lord. Oh! <laughs> that dropped a little lower than I was expecting. Be with us, Lord. We've crossed here numerous times, but I just gotta get back into the swing of things, okay? So bear with me. Bear with me, you guys. Oh yeah. It's above my knees <laughs> and it gets high right here. Okay, that was the worst of it. Not too bad. <laughs> I know I made it seem like it was worse than it was, right? 
So all of this right here is basically excess. The main channel goes around that way. So, like I was saying, look at this right here. They got this built up higher than normal. Yes, they do. And, okay, so let me leave the shovel right here because y'all know that we normally, like I said, we, we normally go a long ways back up and through here to get to the furthest point that we can get the best drainage. Um, wow, I mean, y'all see how all this stuff flushed out, man? Crazy, right? Hurricane Debbie brought some, some serious water, but you know, like I said, it broke the dam out. So whenever you break a dam out, there's gonna be some serious flooding, which is why you don't want dams by roads now I've did oh that scared me for a second there we know that they got that dam right there and truth be told if we break this one out we really don't have to worry about that one over there i forgot about that Thank you, Lord, for protection against snakes. Yep, this one right here, you guys. We've tore this one out and they've rebuilt. But then there's another one that they had over there. <laughs> but we kind of sort of need to go ahead and I guess get this one tore out. Man, it's raining. I got some nails. Oh, I got some nails on the tree over there where I was hanging my backpack before. But uh, the rain is picking up. Oh, we about to get rained out. But I got to pull out a little bit. Like, oh shoot, oh Lord. <laughs> I got to pull out a little bit. Let them know that we, we are back on the scene. That's right, Beavers. Team Terrell, back on the scene. And guess what? It's raining and it's loud. Oh, Beavers. Can you hear that, Beavers? <laughs> We're getting it flowing in the rain. I got this tree branch just getting up under my arm there. This will give them a little busy work. That poison, leaves of a three, let it be. <laughs> no, I think that's a tree. I'm not gonna complain about the rain because the peanuts and the soybeans need it. We got some good flow.
This was the guitar dam. This is where they had a piece of wood that was shaped like a guitar. I just remembered that. Oh, that big piece got hung up right there. Okay. That's going to drop it, so. Okay, that's good enough. I can't, oh, there's the guitar. There's the guitar. I want to walk over here to see if they rebuilt the most newest one that we had discovered when it was last over here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it, get to it. But it's an important dam in the main stream, the main channel it was right here oh looks like y'all remember there was a there was a big tree oh it moved it but even though it moved it they didn't rebuild that's gonna oh that's gonna require the big chainsaw so that dam that's furthest down that way is what's holding all this water this that's not doing anything that's not doing anything you can see this is draining out. I guess the rain is on and off. I need to put some uh, rain on the on the lens. I might buy me some. That help keep it clean too. That way I can take my finger and wipe across it and it won't be smudgy. I probably need to wipe it off now. I probably got some raindrops on it now. I can't tell. I don't want to put my finger on it because <laughs> if there is, it'll make it worse. It won't be a little drop, it'll be a smear if I do it. Let's, let's free that up. Where did that big boy go? That big boy log, I think it's right there. It's not even as big as I thought, it's a half of one. Come here. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Look like they took the the splitting axe and took that piece off. Broke it up. Okay, that's that's a whole lot better. That is a whole lot better, you guys. Uh, I'm satisfied with that. I kid you not. I'm ready to go to the furthest point, man. I really am. I really, really am. But that's a, that's a serious journey. That is a serious journey. Probably growed up bad back there too. We can at least go to this, the spot where we taught the next dam. <laughs> I know we keep going further and further, right? But it's important because there is a process 
and how things have to flow. And I remember that there was a snake right here. The last time I was here, he was sitting right here. You gotta be careful. We gotta be careful, you guys. Oh! Spider whip! Uh -huh. <laughs> it got all on my face and my lips. I'm sorry. I didn't see that one. Oh, I'm bugging out. I'm acting up too much just for a spider whip. I see that spider right there. That banana spider. This is what I need to do while I'm walking. That way that won't happen again. Oh man, that was all on my lips. That's why I bugged out like that. All on my lips. I need my lips to be clean so I can give God the fruit of my lips, which is my worship. <laughs> oh, I don't want spiders and spider webs on my lips. So it does not look like they rebuilt the dam that was right here. So that's good. There was a dam right here. It wasn't, oh, oh. Why does that look like that sort of blocked up though? Ugh. I guess that's that tree. But there's, some, there's gotta be something beyond the tree. There's something beyond the tree. But anyway, this one is not rebuilt, which is good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. There's definitely got to be something beyond that tree there now. There was nothing beyond it before, that's for sure. Man, we might as well keep going. We didn't come. We didn't come this far, right? We've come this far by faith. <laughs> Leaning on the Lord. Okay, that's enough singing, right? Oh, man. It's not too bad here, huh? It's not too, too growed up. I could tell the deer have been out here. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad this ain't underwater. Sometimes it's normally underwater. Let me put my, my spider web. remover in front of me all right now I don't want to go too far out because let me see I don't think I normally walk this far out but uh, it looks sort of congested over that way and maybe I do walk that far out yeah I do okay I guess if I just follow the deer trail I'll be good that right there seems sort of backed up why ain't that flowing? That ain't right. But if if they had a serious dam, this right here would be flooded though. So maybe it's not as bad as I think. I do need the machete. This is getting a little bit uh a little bit raunchy. Like I said, I didn't even put it in my backpack, so I don't even have it. It's not even in the truck. <laughs> no, I guess it ain't too bad. They got this dam up here holding back all the water, I reckon. <laughs> now that's in the way. At the potato rake it. Yep, here we are. Here we are. Part of the main channel, you guys. This is gonna get deep on me. Oh, as always. Oh, I don't like that. Ah, I'd rather it be water. It's deep with mud. They got it sealed off good, man. Check it out. Check it out. Yes. Look at that, you guys. 
Yep, 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 yep. That's gonna help us out big time. Up at the big dam. I need to get over here where I normally set up at. I normally set up over there because once we get this joker opened up, uh, it'll be flowing strong over here. Oh, it, come on. You get washed out. Uh, come on, potato rake. You're doing your job, but I don't want you to do it right now. Not while I'm trying to get up here. I think we call this one snake down because there was a dead snake on here and it was stinking the first time ever we discovered it. I got some nails on the tree over here. It's already ready to go in it. There's my nails. Okay, so I guess we're gonna get set up. See what we can do here, you guys. Man, that's a lot of mess that's gonna be in the way. All right, you guys, finally got y'all set up. I've been debating on where I wanna throw the stuff. I guess that's the best bet. We don't have much room. Woo, it's ready, ain't it? It is ready to go. And I'm sorry, but uh, you're gonna have to check back in for the next episode, you guys. <laughs> this might get a little uh, timely. And we actually already did tear out a dam already, so. Make sure that you stay tuned, okay? I was just thinking about how we were traveling through all of the woods and the water and things of that nature. And I was like, we come too far to, to turn around now. So as it is in the natural on today, that's how it is in the spirit. On this Christian journey, we will face different obstacles in life. There will be different roadblocks, different things that try to set us back. But guess what? Once we start on this Christian journey, man, we start by faith and we gotta finish by faith. So though we may run into different things, we can't give up. We can't throw in the towel. We can't turn back. William McDowell said it best. No, I won't go back. There's nothing to go back to. Once you put your faith in Christ and you begin your relationship with God through Jesus, it's like, man, the world has nothing to offer. Even though the temptations are there, you know, when you're living in sin and you're fulfilling the lust of the flesh and things of that nature, it never really suffices you. It never really causes you to be content and satisfied. You're always going back. But in Christ, there's a satisfaction. In Christ, there's a wholeness, there's a completeness. So we gotta continue to keep the faith, we gotta continue to run the race and don't give up so that we can meet that expected end. Paul said, I finished my course and now there's a crown laid up for me and for all those who love Jesus appearing. So be encouraged, don't throw in the towel, don't give up, all right? I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Smash that like button for us, throw a comment in the comment section, let me know what's on your mind. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.